Guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. I just want to share a couple techniques for you, and I emphasize techniques. Instructors, those of you that are out there teaching your techniques, that's great. Make sure your students know it's not law. That's one of the things that uh, is kind of a pet peeve of mine is teaching your technique as law. Uh, anyways, it is very much a technique for being in the terminal environment on the A320, planning your energy, and also some helpful things. And at the end, I'm going to share with you the number one thing I can, I can tell you to do. It's actually maybe two things that will help you uh, in the final uh, – um, short final phase of your approach. So first things, the flight plan page in the McDo is great because A, I can see the next point um, that uh, my flight plan is going to sequence to and I can also quickly sequence it if it's out of sequence. Let's say I'm getting vectored off of an arrival onto um, kind of vectors for an approach, an ILS or whatever kind of approach. It's a great place for me to be able to do that quickly. And frankly, I'll probably delegate it away because we're going to be relatively low altitude below 10,000 feet. The navigation coordinate top right, of course, also shows you your two-way point. That's a great indicator. Second thing, the prog page. The prog page has an entry where you can put the, the really anything, right? The waypoint or a runway or an airport. I typically put the landing runway there so that I can get distance information from that runway. And I can assess my energy at varying gates. So at 15 miles out, if I'm straight in, uh, and I'm doing 250 knots, 15 miles away is the last point for me to begin slowing to 180 knots. So I'm looking at the prog page to check my energy status. At 15 DME, I need to be slowing to 180. By 10 DME, ideally, I'm somewhere around 180 knots, flaps 2. I realize sometimes HEC limits us. They give us speed 210 to 10 DME or 170 to 5 or what have you. But basically, um, I use uh, 180 knots. Uh, flaps 2 and a 320 or maybe flaps 5 and a 7.3, doesn't really matter, um, as a guide for my energy. That's, that's the uh, one of the main things for the prog page for me. Third thing, this is huge, the perf approach page. As I get on a short final, I like to be on the approach page by simply selecting the perf key. And the reason I like that is because if I execute a go around, immediately that perf approach page is going to sequence automatically to the go around phase. And in the bottom right corner of the go around uh, page as it is, which sequenced automatically, the bottom right corner shows my engine out acceleration altitude. So if I initiate a go around and I have an engine failure, I will very quickly be able to find where I need to push to level off because I was already prepared on the page that enabled me to see that information. And the fourth and final thing I'm going to share with you here, or maybe it's the fifth, I lost count, but anyways, the final thing I'll share with you is the wind display on the navigation display. Uh, in the top left corner shows me my wind, which I do check right on short final to see what kind of inputs I'm going to need in, into the flare uh, based on if it's a crosswind from the left or from the right, will I need any kind of uh, decrab and what have you, and what I'm expecting the jet to do as I transition into the flare phase um, of that landing. So hope these, these items help you. I hope you find them um, well. Um, um, a lot of what I share here, uh, some of it is straight out of the book, some of it is technique, and uh, I just want to share you know, with you when it is a technique to take it as that. And uh, if you find it helpful, great. Uh, adopt it. And if not, you know, don't. Don't worry about it. So anyway, hope this video, as I said, finds you well. And I look forward to working with you here. Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, you know the name. Your friends and training program success here at OneStepPrep.com. By the way, if you haven't seen our videos online, please go check out OneStepPrep.com. If you want to do uh, in-person training with us, if you even want to get your license, your FAA, ATP license, uh, 737, A320, ATP, CTP, whatever, head on over to OneStepPrep.com. Uh, take a look at what we offer there, and we very much look forward to working with you. All right, we'll see you here.